Park didn't want pity. They only wanted justice. But instead of justice, these Calgarians, many sick and vulnerable, seniors, children, single mothers, were pushed out of their homes in the depths of winter. For many, not only were their homes demolished, but their lives crushed as well. Sadly, they were just collateral damage to a city council that would not care and would not listen. City Council decided to close Midfield years prior. With all eyes watching, they promised to help these families build a new neighbourhood in East Calgary. And once the public thought that the issue was settled, Council quietly broke their promise. The families were offered a pittance to give up their homes, and the eviction date was set just before Christmas. They say that you can't fight City Hall, but some of us tried. To me, the question was not only a legal one, but a moral one. I vowed to do right by these families and presented a plan to Council to offer a fair deal. I knew that it was going to be an uphill battle, but I wasn't afraid of losing. I was afraid of living with myself if I didn't try. That was the first time, but not the last, that I was dragged into Mayor Nenshi's and City Council's Chamber of Secrets. Once we emerged in public, I asked Council to do the right thing. Not one hand went up to even allow a debate. My plan died then and there, as did any hope for any future for this neighborhood. Mayor Nancy said that the city treated the Midfield families beyond what the law required. What council did may have been legal, but make no mistake, their decision was morally bankrupt. The big rush? To leave the land barren. It's been nearly three years, and there still has been no activity on this land that was once home to one of Calgary's most vibrant neighborhoods. I will never regret trying to help the families of Midfield, because you can never regret doing the right thing. This is the stuff that keeps me up at night. It continues to bother me how these families, our neighbours, were treated. And it should bother every single Calgarian to know what our mayor, what our council did in our name. Today, I'm asking you to think hard about our future and the choice we have ahead of us in the next election. We need a mayor and council who will listen, who will care, and who will keep their promises. In this town, a handshake means everything. No matter what neighbourhood you call home, I give you my word. I will always stand up for you, and I will do absolutely everything in my power to ensure that something like this never happens again. My name is Jeremy Farkas, and I'm asking to be your next mayor.